Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. In this lecture, we shall learn about 8051 IO ports. A port is usually a set of 8 pins and we call them IO because we can configure them either input or output. 8051 have 4 GPIO ports and each port have 8 pins while each pin may have one or more than one functions. We will see them one by one. Now let's have a look on IO port 0. Port 0 is 8-bit open drain bidirectional IO port. Open drain simply means a transistor that connects to ground. I'll explain more about open drain in following section. Bidirectional means this port may be configured as input or output. P0 register is used for accessing port 0. This register is bit accessible. If some register is bit accessible, that means we can access individual bits of that register. Writing one to some bit of P0 register will configure corresponding pin as input, while writing zero will configure that as output. By default, every pin is configured as input on power up. Let's write some simple code for testing port zero. I'll configure lower four bits of port zero as input and upper four bits as output. And whatever input I'll apply on lower four bits, same should appear on upper four bits. Now I'll compose my code in Sublime Editor. You have to open same C file here that is created by your micro C project. Okay, let's configure lower 4 bits of port 0 as input and upper 4 bits as output. As I mentioned earlier, for configuring some pin of port 0 as input, we write 1 to corresponding bit of P0 register. As now we have to configure lower 4 bits of port 0 as input, we write 1 to lower 4 bits. And for configuring upper 4 pins of port 0 as output, we write 0 to all upper 4 bits of P0 register. In hexadecimal, it will become 0F. While one is simply a forever loop. This is how you can access individual bits of a register in micro C. Okay, what this code will do? It will simply read port 0 bit 0 and will write it to port 0 bit 4. Similarly, bit 1 will be written to bit 5, bit 2 will be written to bit 6 and bit 3 of port 0 will be written to bit 7 of port 0. Now let's compile this code. Okay, this program compiled successfully without any errors. Now I'll simulate this code in Proteus. We always connect port 0 with external pull-ups. I'll try to explain open drain first, then you can easily understand why we need external pull-ups at port 0. As I mentioned earlier, open drain is simply a transistor that connects to ground. Now let's try to understand how it works. Whenever we apply high input at gate, drain and source are shorted. And whenever we apply low input at gate, drain and source are disconnected. 8051 applies gate input through a D-latch. When for example, we write 0 to bit 0 of port 0, 8051 sends that 0 to D-latch input. That in turn sends high signal to gate input and high input at gate will short drain at source. So 0 will appear on port 0 pin 0. In same way, when we write 1 to bit 0 of port 0, 8051 sends that 1 to D-latch input. That in turn sends low signal to gate input and low input at gate will disconnect drain and source. So open circuit of floating output will appear at port 0 pin 0. Now question is how to solve this open circuit of floating output issue at port 0? Answer is very simple. We connect external pull-ups at port 0. So whenever low signal is applied at gate, high signal will appear at port 0 pins due to external pull-ups. 
Now let's connect pull up resistors with all pins of port 0. 10 kilo ohm pull up is recommended. I'll use Proteus logic states for simulating inputs. You can also use push buttons instead of logic states. I'm connecting logic states with lower 4 bits of port 0. Let's specify hex file location and set crystal frequency to 10 MHz. Let's start simulation. Okay. It is working alright. Whatever input I'm applying at bit 0, 1, 2 and 3, same is appearing on bit 4, 5, 6 and 7 respectively. Let's have a look on another simple example. First I have configured port 0 as output. Delay underscore millisecond 1000 P0 equals 0xAA Port 0 is equal to hexadecimal 55 Delay underscore millisecond 1000 Okay, in this loop, I am sending hexadecimal AA and 55 to port 0 with 1 second delay in between. Let's compile and test this code. You can see it is working alright. Each pin is struggling with 1 second delay. Practice it yourself before we start next lecture. Stay tuned.